Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that, that tune was called A Rivers Runs Through It. Not a river runs through it, but a rivers runs through it. That's because the song, at least the chord changes, come from a song by Sam Rivers, the great sa saxophone of Sam Rivers. And I just wrote a new melody over it, which is what we call a contrafact in jazz. So a rivers, Sam Rivers, runs through the song. A rivers runs through it. Uh, we're delighted to be here at Cafe Coda. This is my first time uh, bringing my group here. And uh, so welcome to lovely Cafe Coda in beautiful, I don't know if this, is, if this is downtown, but welcome to beautiful Madison, Wisconsin. Great to have you here. Great to be here with you. Um, we're going to continue with a song. Let's see. What are we playing next? Well, we'll continue with a song by uh, the guitarist Pat Metheny. This is called Song for Bill Bow.
Well, thank you so much. Thank you again. I don't, I don't think I properly introduced myself. I'm Mark Tonelli. <laughs> this is my band. And I want to introduce you to these fast, fantastic musicians that are playing with me here on stage. I'd agree. I would agree with that assessment. <laughs> I happen to I happen to agree with you. So we we'll, we're gonna we're gonna let that one slide. But good good. Um, that, that's um, I was gonna say comeback, but you didn't come back. You just really made a really good comment. These guys are great musicians. You've known them for four years. Well, I've known Matt for four years too. So that's a perfect segue. Thanks thanks for helping me with that. Matt and I met when he was a student at the, the University of Illinois. He was finishing up his doctorate, and we did some gigs together down there. And then Matt came back here to his home state. Right, this, is your, this is your home state, Wisconsin. And is now, he's Dr. Matt Andrus now, so he did, did complete his doctorate. Yes, you can give him a hand. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and let's see. And so, so Matt is teaching at the University of Wisconsin. Uh, Madison, right here, right here in town. He's a, he's a professor of jazz studies and also involved with the, the marching band, right? Which is like probably a pretty big responsibility in a football town such as this one. So please give a big round of applause for Mr. Matt Endress. <laughs> Dr. Matt Endress. Uh, this guy behind me here, we've known each other for uh, 
six times, se almost seven times, almost eight times the amount of time that I've known Matt. So Nate and I go back about 30 years when we were uh, undergraduate students at the, well, it was William Patterson College back then, but it's William Patterson University now in Wayne, New Jersey. In beautiful Wayne, New Jersey. Wayne is actually a beautiful city. Um, and so we've been friends for a long time and did a lot of gigs there um, as students and then even, I guess, beyond. And then we just kind of went our separate ways and watched our careers blossom. And I've moved back to the New York area for a while, and so I was able to see Nate a little bit there. Uh, and it was no surprise to any of us who went to school with Nate um, that <laughs> I've got to be careful how I set things up when I'm around Nate because he always fills it in with the worst possible, you know, um, punchline. But no, I have, I have nothing but, but praise for Nate. We weren't, we weren't all surprised when Nate was called to play with Joe Morello, the Joe Morello from the Dave Brubeck Quartet, who played on famous, the most famous jazz songs like Take Five and Blue, Ra Blue Rondo a la Turk. And in fact, Nate and his wife, Noreen, uh, were in Joe's trio for, I, think, I guess, more or less the last five years of his life, essentially, right? Some, something like that. And so Nate was already a great player before uh, he went to play with Joe Morello, but after playing with that monster drummer, for five years, he's even better, uh, as you can hear. And so m Nate and Noreen retired for as, for as public school teachers in New Jersey and relocated here to Wisconsin. Na uh, Noreen is originally from Racine, is that right? Racine. Racine, I didn't even say that right. Racine. Well, you got to correct me. Like, I, I thought I said... I thought I said I said the name of the city earlier to you, but you didn't correct me. Then you waited till I got on stage and made a fool of myself <laughs> in front of the audience to correct me. But so so thank you for that. Uh, so rat scene, yeah. I'm sure there's lots of jokes uh, about every uh, about every city. Uh, so anyway, so so Noreen's from Racine. Uh, did I get that right that time? And uh, so they relocated back here a couple years ago, which is great for me because I get to see them and I get to play gigs with with really one of my best friends. So. Please uh, give a warm welcome to Nate Leanhard. <laughs> All right, we're going to. Um, so, if, uh, if, you know, uh, if you know anything about me, uh, and most of you don't, although my, my friend John in the, in, in the audience here does, because John is in my Portuguese class. Uh, that's how John and I became friends, and John. Um, brought his family and friends here tonight, and they drove a couple of hours to get here, so I really appreciate that. <laughs> so shout out to John. Uh, so, so John knows this about me, that I, that I have a real passion for, for Brazil and all things Brazilian. And I've been studying Portuguese for the last couple of years, and I can speak it okay, you know, I can speak it okay. Um, and uh, as jazz musicians, we learn the music of Brazil. That's just part of our training, and most jazz musicians can play, uh, you know, at least a handful of Brazilian tunes, bossa novas and sambas. But because of my interest in Brazil, I've really kind of investigated some of the composers who are maybe lesser known even to American jazz musicians. And one of those is a guy named Egberto Gismonti. He's a wonderful instrumentalist and composer. And we're going to play one of his tunes now. This is called Don Quixote, or as he would say, Don Quixote, but Don Quixote.
thank you very much. Uh, that was Dream Dancing by Cole Porter. Cole Porter's written so many great tunes, um, Night and Day, Music from Anything Goes. Uh, but that one is, doesn't seem to get played quite as much, so it's fun to find tunes that are a little bit more off the beaten path. <laughs> so, um, Cole Porter is from Indiana, so another another Midwestern boy. Oh no, Hoagie, yeah, Hoagie Carmichael's from Indiana, right? Because I don't know where Cole Porter's from. I I don't remember. I'm taking cues from these guys back here. That's my my, my first mistake is listening to them. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna play at, at least one more, I think. Here, um, another thing I like to do uh, besides play standards and. Um, Brazilian tunes, is take tunes that uh, really are pretty unlikely songs to, to play in a jazz style. This has been going on for a long time. I guess most famously, Miles Davis did it. Um, as far as I can remember, the earliest version of this really happening in a popular way was taking the song Someday My Prince Will Come from the Disney movie and then kind of making a jazz song out of it, which has now become a jazz standard that pretty much all jazz musicians play. And if you're, if you're going to play a waltz on a on a jazz gig, it's likely to be that song, Someday My Prince Will Come. And Miles Davis kind of repeated this throughout the years. He very famously did it in the 80s with um, music by Cyndi Lauper and Michael Jackson. And then other musicians have done similar things. The pianist Herbie Hancock released um, a record in the 90s called The New Standard in which he took songs by Nirvana and, and other groups that were kind of popular at the time, um, 80s and 90s groups, and like made them into these kind of jazz, jazz songs. Uh, and then I, another guy I like is Dave Douglas, a wonderful trumpet player and composer who's taken the music of Bjork and Mary J. Blige and Rufus Wainwright and kind of made them into jazz vehicles. And I really love that concept. So that's something I've done over in the recent years, taking Rick Springfield songs and Queen and um, Tom Petty songs and kind of made them into jazz vehicles. We're gonna, what we're going to do tonight is I think one of the first ones I did like this, which is Space Oddity by David Bowie. So here's our version of Space Oddity. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're the Mark Tonelli Trio, Matt Endress on drums, Nate Leanhardt on bass, yours truly, Mark Tonelli on guitar. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back for a second set at 9, and you are welcome to stay for that second set. Thank you.
Thank you. That was a beautiful friendship. That's what we got going on here on stage, a beautiful friendship. It's the first time the three of us are playing together. We've, I've played with Nate before, I've played with Matt before, but not the three of us all together. So per personally, socially, and musically, we've got a beautiful friendship going on here. So really a great tune to open the set. You, you like how I did that? I didn't even plan it that way. Just, <laughs> just got lucky. <coughs> all right, uh, what, what are we playing next? Yeah, we're going to play one of Nate's tunes. This is called Hyperion Blues. Thank you. 
Thank you. Hyperion Blues, fun gut bucket blues by, by Nate Leanhard. Thank you. 
Thank you. That song is called Caruso. It's written by an Italian composer, really just a, a, a rock musician named Lucio Dalla. And um, it, was, it was sung as a rock piece in the mid 80s. It's kind of a classic rock song in Italy. And um, uh, you know, I have Italian heritage and I've, I've actually was born in Italy, came here when I was a little kid and I've been back many times and over the years visiting Italy, I've picked up different songs that you know, are part of their culture. And so this is, this is one of them. All right, I'm, I'm not even going to introduce this one. We're just going to play it, and I w I'll, I'll ask you later um, if, you kn if you know what it was. Thank 
Okay, thanks. Anyone? Anyone know that one? Really? No, nobody knew what that was? Really? Seriously? So. Say that again? That's right. That's right. It was borderline my Madonna. That's exactly right. I like doing that kind of stuff, taking songs you'd never think and then making them into jazz songs. So that's my latest concoction. Okay. Um, we're going to play a, a ballad called by Henry Mancini called Dreamsville. Thank you. 
Thank you. We're going to place uh, old standard, Stella by Starlight. Thank you. 
Thank you, Stella by Starlight. Uh, let me introduce these gentlemen for those who are here and those who are watching at home on the live stream. On the drums, Dr. Matt Endress. <laughs> on the bass, Dr. Nate Leanhard. <laughs> it's not really a doctor. just plays one on stage on the, on the jazz stage. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he, yeah, people said he looked like Anthony Edwards on ER. That's, that's true. Yeah, he did, did, did look like that. Same haircut. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to play an original tune. This is called Free.
Well, while we're having a meeting of the minds here, trying to figure out how to close our set, I want to say thank you very much for being here. For those who, who stayed for the second set or came for the second set, yeah, we're, we're grateful that you're here. For those watching online or watching later, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you will enjoy it if you're going to watch later. And I think we're going to, what are we going to play? We're almost there. Space Oddity. Now there's a recording I could I can send you. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna close this evening's set, second set with a song by the great Benny Golson, one of the legendary saxophonists. I actually got to play with Benny when I was in a, a military jazz big band. Uh, yep, I got paid to play full to play jazz full time in the army. That's that's a really you know like unusual combination of things, right? But yes, it actually did happen. And we would have guest artists, and one of them was Benny Golson. And it's like being on stage, you know, with the guy whose songs you've been playing for years is like your hero. So it was, it was pretty cool. So this one's called Stable Mates. Once again, on drums, Matt Endress. <laughs> and on the bass, Nate Leanhard. I'm Mark Tonelli. Thanks so much.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. Woo. See you next time. Everybody, give it one more up for Mark Tonelli, everybody. Whoa. So, Mark, what an amazing show, man. That's a beautiful guitar you got. I know everybody loved it. Um, my father has a little tradition here at the club. Um, Imani, what's that tradition? We got to have you play one more song before you get out of here, man. Can you do that for us? Thanks, guys. Everybody give it one more up for him. Thank you.